The ability to produce the best quality content at scale in a fraction of the time, none of the cost, is one of the best competitive advantages you can give your business in 2025. And Notebook LM, the new AI from Google, gives us the ability to do this. But it doesn't do it on its own. We need to combine it with another tool and we also need to be smart about how we use that tool. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Notebook LM to create long form content. It can be either written content or video content that will put you way ahead of the competition. So in this example that I'm gonna show you in a minute, we're gonna use the topic AI marketing marketing trends in 2025. So if I wanted to create an article like that or a long form YouTube video, I'd use Notebook LM for that. Now this tool used on its own is quite interesting, but when you pair it with either Gemini or ChatGPT to do the research, it really supercharges it. So if you're a content creator or a small business and content is any part of that business, this is gonna save you tens of hours every week. So I'm gonna give you a practical example now, a walkthrough of exactly how you can use Notebook LM to do this in your own business. Okay, so we're going to use two pieces of software to get this done. We're going to use Notebook LM and we're also going to use whatever your favorite AI software is for doing research and for querying. So it can be ChatGPT or Gemini or something like that. We're going to use this to find our documents to feed into Notebook LM. Notebook LM is great for what it does, but it only really works with the resources that you give it. And the benefit of this is that you get a lot less hallucination. But the downside obviously is that you can't really do it to do external research. So in this example, I'm going to use Gemini to do that. So the first thing you want to do is just sign up to Notebook LM. And once you're logged in, you just need to click on create new. And I'm going to just X out with this for the moment. This is just to upload your sources. Uh, I just want to show you the dashboard first. So on the left, you can get back to that by just clicking plus add source. And in here, you can upload a website link, a YouTube link, and obviously you can um, import Google Google Docs and Google Slides as well. So I'm gonna just X out of that now. And then once the sources have been uploaded, you'll see in the middle here, it will let you, allow you to query uh, all of these uh, resources on the left-hand side here. We're gonna get into that in a second. And then on the right-hand side, that's where we're gonna have the output. I don't wanna get ahead of myself here. So this video is gonna be basically around, oh, I wanna make an article or a video, a long form piece of content, a pillar piece of content based around AI marketing trends in 2025. Now I'm gonna use Notebook LM to come up with the best version of this topic on the internet. And we're gonna use the skyscraper method for this, which is like an old SEO term for taking the best articles that other people have created or the best pieces of content from say three or four top creators that are trending and are also well positioned and have been well received take all of those and we're going to combine them to make a mega piece of content something that's better than them all the ultimate resource so to do that i'm going to jump over to gemini here and when i'm on gemini i'm going to use a simple prompt i'm going to say find five of the current most popular and trending articles on the topic marketing ai trends in 2025. now i will mention i'm using gemini advanced deep research here this is very useful for this sort of thing you can obviously Obviously get away with just doing your own research by using ChatGPT to pull a few of them, but this will go a, a lot deeper for you and actually go search. You can see it tells you what it's going to do. It'll search Google, LinkedIn, Twitter, Reddit, and it'll find the kind of most popular article. So it's going to go a lot deeper than some of the other platforms. Uh, so with Gemini Advanced, as I said, deep research, you want to click on uh, start research here. Okay, now that's probably gonna take a couple of minutes to finish off. So while that's processing, what we wanna do is we wanna jump over to YouTube. So once you're on YouTube, you wanna search some broad terms around the topic. We can start off with AI marketing trends here and just hit enter. Now you wanna just go through and you know, you spend a little more time with this, but you wanna find some videos very close to what you're doing yourself. So this one's get ahead of the game at AI driven marketing trends in 2025. So we'll take that one there. So I'll just copy that link and then we're gonna jump back over to Notebook LM. We're gonna click add source, we remove that. And if we scroll down here, we wanna just click YouTube and we wanna paste that link in. Okay, now we just wanna click insert. Now we can see it's being uploaded and it's just put this chat in the middle is just pulling from this one resource that we have. So let's just go and grab another one or two quickly. Okay, so we got three videos in there. Get ahead of the game with AI, which AI-driven marketing trends will work in 2025, right? Just kind of basic stuff. Now we're gonna jump back over to Gemini here and hopefully it's finished off. Okay, so let me have a little look here. Okay, so we can see it's pulled a few titles here. The rise of AI agents and their evolving role in e-commerce, AI's impact on creative space and rise of connected brands, AI-powered video marketing, hyper-personalization at scale. Okay, so it's pulling these articles. You can see the article is there for WordStream and for content. This is coming from Reddit. So now obviously you can do more of these. You can ask it for 10, 20 of them, but you can see down here when I scroll down, it's telling you which website is researched for that. Okay, so all I need to do here is come over to the right hand side and if I right click, oh, sorry, and if I click on any of those, it's going to open up the link. So we want to just copy it. Now these are just, these, these are all the ones that research. Now, as I said, we kind of wanted to take the top five here, but we're just going to use kind of all of the best ones that we can see. So if we want to take this, for example, we just open this page and then we copy that, jump back over to Notebook LM. We go add source, scroll down, click on website, and we want to paste our website in. Now here we just want to click insert. 
Okay, so I'm gonna just add a few more of those from Gemini in quickly. So to show you how this works, once we have some sources in, um, what we wanna actually do here is we can click on any of these. Now, let's click on the article here. And now what we can do is anything that kind of piques our interest. So say we see AI's strategic role here. This is a prompt for this one thing or dynamic content creation. That's another one. AI marketing trends at the top there is another one that might, obviously is gonna interest us. But for now, I'm gonna click on AI strategic role. Now what that's done is it's actually queried all of these resources here. It hasn't just queried the one that, you know, I've actually, have, um, that I clicked into originally, this one here. So it's basically, if something has piqued their interest in this on the left-hand side, we can then ask it to reference all the other pieces of content as well. So we can see here when it tells us about in 2025, AOL moved beyond tactical marketing operations to become a crucial strategic partner, participate in high level planning and decision making, reference one, we can click on reference one and it brings us to the exact source here and it tells us, we can go into a little more detail about it. So if you're using this for just general content and you're making a, a big article, you can also say things to it like, um, find actionable insights that I can use for a LinkedIn post. So we can see then it's gonna give us some small little bite-sized nuggets of information there. So AI is not just a tool, it's a strategic partner. In 2025, AI will be able to do high-level planning, hyper-personalization, real-time is the new normal. So obviously you can play around with that. You can dig in, find more information, add more resources, all of that good stuff. But what we're gonna look at here is how we're gonna output this very quickly into basically a script outline that we can use to create our video or create a long form piece of content. So on the right-hand side here, we can do a couple of things that are quite interesting. We can actually turn this into a podcast. So all of these resources can be turned into a podcast with these two hosts, they're AI hosts. They actually sound fantastic. Um, so if I click on generate here, it'll take a minute or two and it'll generate a podcast basically talking about all these topics on the left. Now there is things we can do with that. We can prompt it to have the conversation in a certain way. So we could basically say, teach us about this, spend five, 10 minutes teaching us about this topic. So when you're on a walk or something like that later today, you can listen to that before you actually go in and make the video or record the video or write, you know, publish the article and it'll give you some insights. So you're not just having AI write it yourself. You can, you know, you understand the topic deeply yourself. It's a very easy way of doing some extra research. Okay, so another useful thing on the right hand side here is actually the FAQ. This is a great way of finding a couple of one-liners to throw into your article or, or your video, sorry. Um, so it's, how is AI expected to influence marketing strategies 2025? What is hyper-personalization? I mean, these things can obviously give you um, ways of outlining your own content. It'll also give you uh, new ideas for maybe your next video as well, because you're digging into, kind of into the weeds here a little bit. This one's about search engine optimization. How is it relevant 2025? That might be a video I do down the line. But to move along quickly here and get this wrapped up, I'm gonna show you how we actually output this now. So I'm just gonna give a, qu a simple prompt to the chat in the middle. Based on all resources, give me an outline for a long form YouTube video and blog post. Okay, now we can see if we scroll up here, let's see the back to where I started giving us this, we're gonna go to do, 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 do. Here's the outline for the long form video and blog post blog post, so it can be either one, obviously, you have to play around with yourself. Overall team, this piece will explore how AI is revolutionizing marketing, moving from basic automation to strategic partner. Introduction, start with a hook, obviously this is kind of all basic stuff. For instance, by, so this would actually, it's actually giving you a hook here, which is great. By the end of 2025, AI will drive 80% of marketing strategy. Click on the thing, you get a reference. So you can read that yourself. So that would be a great hook. It could even be the title of your video. You can see hyper-personalization is number two. Number three is real-time ad optimization. Four is AI-powered chatbots and virtual assistants. So this is all great stuff. And it, it, you know, it also breaks them down into subsections. So when you're making your video, you can say, here's number four, chatbots, virtual assistants. And then obviously after that, you can get into the weeds and pull it. You don't have to go through all of these. There's like five paragraphs here. You can just take the one or two most interesting ones. And if you have, I don't know how many are here. They've gone to like 14 or 15 tips here. So it's like, you're gonna have a, a long video there. So you don't actually have to take all this information. You just have to take the best stuff out. And as I said, the best part about this is that you can actually chase down those references as well. So you can really quickly create a good outline for a video. Now, generally what you, I would do as well is I would copy all of this text. I jump over to either ChatGPT or Gemini and I would tell it to clean it up a little bit. And if I'm taking can say one of those points for, let me see, um, virtual influencers, for example, if I'm in chat GPT or if I'm in Gemini, I can actually tell it to, you know, dig a little deeper, maybe pull a resource, pull an example, find some pop culture trend that's going on around the thing to make the video a little more interesting.